My name is Armando Falcon, and I'm a research analyst at the University of Kentucky. We were uh, scouting for courting worms in the, in the hemp fields, and then we noticed these uh, buzzing sounds around, around the, the larvae, and then we paid more attention, and then uh, we saw these flies trying, attempting to lay eggs on the caterpillars. When we look at, at them closer, we saw a bunch of eggs on the, on the back of the caterpillars. That's why we, we ask several questions about this uh, potential control by natural enemies. We are looking at the interaction between the corning worms attacking the hemp and then uh, a natural enemy that we uh, just discovered that was a specific tachinid that is uh, parasitizing the corning worm larvae. And then we are looking for the mortality and all the effects that these uh, tachinid flies are potentially causing to the corning worms. Half of these uh, corning worms are being attacked by these tachinid flies. So of that number attacked by the flies, about half of those individuals will potentially die. So they are controlling a good amount of the populations. So they eventually kill the, the caterpillar and then come out from the body and they pupate outside. So uh, after uh, a week or two, we hopefully have the adult fly uh, and then the, this cycle will go on and on. We need to know why are they uh, in large numbers outside and we need to find out what is going on in the environment that is uh, helping the, the flies. If they are um, helping in the, in the yield, so if they are helping the farmers, what is the impact of these flies in, in the field? It's, 